School's back in session, but Steve Hartman found a place where the lessons are even sweeter. Here's tonight's On the Road. You're about to witness a 76-year tradition. Just about every day since 1939, Ethel Weiss has descended the stairs of her apartment building, walked 25 feet down the sidewalk, and opened up her store next door. Ethel is owner of Irving's, a candy and toy store in Brookline, Massachusetts that she still runs by herself at the age of 101. You could have retired long ago, obviously. Why do you want to keep going there every day? I, I don't want to disappoint people. There's no one to take it over, and I don't want it to fall apart at the seams. Ethel opened Irving's with her husband Irving near the end of the Great Depression. Oh, that's you there, isn't yep. it? Wow. Her first customers were mostly kids from the grade school next door. And today, she's serving their great-grandchildren, who continue to flock to Irving's after the final bell. May I help you? Do you know all their names? Some of them. Are you forgetting I, some? And I always write them down, but uh, then I forget where I wrote it. <laughs> She is 101, uh, and the kids are sensitive to that. I, For example, I, I, Ethel used to use these transactions as a way to help the kids with their math. How much is it? But now, well, I got kind of mixed up. They help her. What do I owe you? Um, no, you don't owe me anything because I didn't give you the dollar yet. Oh, all right. Sweet doesn't begin to describe this candy store. Okay, thank you. She's like a friend to me almost. Really? Yeah, just really welcoming and polite when you come in. Nothing can compare to her in that candy shop. And Ethel says the feeling is mutual. It's a wonderful place to be, and you can see people all the time, and you can wave to them, say hi. <laughs> do you think that store has anything to do with you living to be 101 years old? Yes, because I love the children. What do you got? Go figure. The secret of the fountain of youth. Just take that. Thank you. Youth. Uh, here's a quarter here. Huh? Steve Hartman, Hello. on the road, in Brookline, Massachusetts. Thank you very much. Thank you. Scott will be back Monday. I'm Jim Axelrod. Good night.